Hello, Bonner Railroad fans. I had a viewer ask for an overview, a total look at the layout. You know, I put out a lot of videos as I built this, but they're kind of, you know, piece by piece. It doesn't really show the whole thing, so I'm going to walk around, show the whole thing, talk about it. Uh, this layout is 16 foot long and 68 inches wide, even though I call it six foot. I actually wish I had those few inches uh, when I started building this uh, these tunnels and mountains. So anyway, uh, these tracks are two and a half inches apart, typically. I use Pico switches, although I do have some Atlas. I like the Pico Electrofrog type switches better than the Inso frogs. This uh, tunnel, the cap comes off. I have three tunnels. The caps come off of all of them. I'll show you that in a minute. I have work to do on my roads up here. This black, I don't like this solid black, so I'm going to have to work that a bit. Off, coming off this siding, I have one of those really tight curve outs. I got that kink right there. Some of my trains don't like that. My locomotives don't like it. Others are fine. So I don't know if I'll just run the ones at work or whether I'll try to fix it. Got this incline using the foam from uh, Woodland Scenics, the risers. That's a 2% grade. It took, takes about 12 feet to move up four inches. And uh, I added another increase in the grade over on the other side of the bridge so i got up about six inches plus the top of the this upper part's an inch so i'm up about seven inches from the base so yeah i have my co-op scene here there's another one of those tight tight uh, curved turnouts this, is, this bridge setup is completely different than what I originally had planned. I was trying to do the, the Katy or the Ketty bridges up in the mountains, and I couldn't find bridges I like to do that. So originally I was going to have two bridges kind of come out here and split, but I couldn't find anything that was going to work, so I had to change the plan on that. But it works out all right. I just have the single bridge up, and I had to move the the uh, turnout down so all these trees here these are just cheap jtt trees i get from hobby lobby yeah i'm gonna i talked about putting a church and stuff i ordered some more highway overpass for right here and i have to redo that area and flatten out that sculpt mold and put a scene in there with my church and my graveyard so yeah as you can see, these seams that are, look terrible. Let me open that up. Yeah, you can see the the foam in there. I put plaster cloth and sculpt the mold right in the entrance. Oops, I need to paint that. That shouldn't be white. I just noticed that. So uh, yeah, if you look inside the tunnel opening, the portal, you don't see the pink foam. Yeah, I have a. You come off this turnout, and this is the one that goes up the incline, eventually up the incline. Yeah, I still have my little water to put in over there. I've talked about that. This cap comes off, tunnel cap. That's a terrible looking seam. I have to see what I can do with that. Um, all of my turnouts have smales, circuitron smales underneath them to control the uh, turnouts. I can change those electronically. Up north, where I have a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch more turnouts, I just I just don't use a motor switch motors at all. I just turn those by hand. So yeah, I get a little siding over here behind this. Uh, little feed store and the siding for the Centennial Mills. So you come out of the tunnel this way or you can go in it this way. There's a auto reverser underneath the uh, tunnel itself. And so you can come out of that tunnel and then go underneath this overpass 
and actually get on the outside rail or this rail. So you have options. You can do this one, this one, this one, or coming out of the tunnel. And uh, really a problem with uh, this uh, layout that I've discovered after running it a while is you have to be on this track to get up on the second level. So you gotta run around a few times to get trains off this track. So what I'd like to do is kind of fix this so I've got a crossover from the, this, this inside track to the incline that goes up the incline somehow in here. I wish I'd have done that earlier. I don't know if I'll fix it, but I really should fix it. Whether or not I do, I don't know. So yeah, that's uh, it's kind of an overview. Still have a lot of work to do here on the top and the uh, the water and the church scenes I've talked about. So this is a overview. I'm not going to talk about the the woodwork under this because this this is quite a mess underneath. It's been expanded and cut up underneath to get switch motors in, and and I got two by fours, two by threes, and I got even deck boards here with my new casters. I got a shelf under here pull-out shelf where my actual DCC thing sits. These round holes are because I used to have push buttons to change the turnouts on the uh, previous layout. This is where the throttle connection went, where you plugged in the Ethernet cable. I had to I move that so the door didn't hit it on my, my car door. Put it down underneath, and then I put the throttle itself here down on the end. Um, not sure what else to uh, to say about this. Here's the throttle. I've got a throttle on the other side too. I didn't show that, but so I can start a train on one side and go walk around the other side and control it. And also, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the uh, overall view of uh, this layout. If you have any uh, questions, just put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.